Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and today I'm really excited to show you the um, update that I've done in my LEGO app. And that's why I call this as LEGO app 2.0. Um, so in the previous LEGO apps, basically this is what I've done. Uh, you can see that uh, I went ahead and made uh, used an API connection from this uh, rebrickable.com, and then with its integration with my Power Apps and Flow, um, I was able to successfully build a LEGO inventory app where um, um, in the first version, I was able to either put in the Lego part number um, or if I could take a picture of the Lego part number, then using OCR, um, get the part number and send it to the uh, rebreakable.com's API and get the part information. Um, what I decided to do, and, and before I do that, um, this was basically the flow that was there in the um, previously, uh, go from the Power Apps. Uh, I made a custom data connection so I can actually get the image um, also. And then from Flow, uh, if it is an image, I send it to uh, the Cognitive um, Visions uh, uh, OCR, get the number, and then made that HTTP connection to API, which returns the part information. If it's just text, then it just directly talks to the uh, HTTP connection, uh, you to the API, and then returns that information. Um, this time, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use Cognitive Custom Vision. So uh, for those who are not, uh, 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 I mean, uh, aware of the cognitive vision, it's actually, as it describes over here, it is a visual intelligence made easy. Um, that way you can actually, in the custom vision, um, go ahead and train the images that you want. You train your project, give it images, um, and then after that, you are able to basically supply images to it, and then it'll tell you exactly what's the percentage of accuracy. Um, so in a nutshell, this is basically how it works. Um, you go ahead and upload images, the more the better. And then after that, um, it will train. Uh, so your project will train based on the images that you've done. And then after that, it gives you this evaluated amount saying this is the level of accuracy you have. The accuracy will uh, increase based on how many images that you provided. Um, so this is basically the way I went ahead and created my pod project in Custom Vision, which, which I'll show you in a, in a second. Um, and so after that, here was the difference in my flow. Uh, what I did was I went ahead and took off the uh, 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 the Visions OCR section, and I went ahead and added now the custom vision. So that was the main change that was done over there. Uh, and then after that, the remaining section is pretty much the same. I go ahead and get the flow, run the flow, get the image. Um, in this case, uh, I can do the same. If I type in the text directly, the top HTTP goes through, or in this case, I'm doing most of the vision. So it goes through first through custom vision. Custom vision takes the image, image analyzes it, and sends me back that information, and then sends it to API. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is let's go ahead and take a look at the custom vision and how I've set that up. So in the custom vision over here, uh, I've gone ahead and created another project, and I call that as Lego. So as in the custom vision, when I go over there, you see that I've, I've already created two other projects. This is the one that I call for Lego. Um, in Lego, I have uh, 414 items right now. Um, and what I did was I took lots and lots of pictures uh, for each of the part. Um, and these were not very fancy pictures. I just took these with my iPhone. But the key thing was take as many pictures as you can and take them from different angles so that it helps the training and it helps the accuracy to be a little bit more better. Um, I have a little bit over 27, or I think uh, close to 30 different uh, tags over here. And the tags in this case, what I applied as tags was basically just the part number. Because my whole idea was to send an image that I take um, to the API uh, of the, custom, the data connection of custom vision. And then it'll return back saying that th this is basically your, uh, the image that you send. And the tag number will be the part number. I take that part number, send it to the... Uh, uh, rebreakable.com and it sends me back all the information. Um, so as you can see that I've already done uh, two iterations of it um, and then in the last iteration I have the precision of 92% um, and so that's basically what it was is I go ahead and do the training and then it gives me the performance. Um, in, the, in the flow section you have to create a custom data connection. I take that back. You have to create uh, your uh, data connection uh, to custom vision. Right now it's in preview phase. But here's the thing. To create that custom vision, you need to come over here to your prediction URL and actually get, capture that URL because that URL is going to give you your prediction key and it's going to give you your iteration key. And here's here's why. Um, let's go to that Lego flow over here. Uh, this is the one that I've created, the Lego 3. 
And in here, the flow is very similar to what I've shown you before. Uh, I go ahead and get you know, all the information, the part number, the file type, uh, and the file itself. And then here in the uh, predict one, that's where I need the project ID key. That's also where I need the iteration key. And that comes straight from the custom vision section that I showed you over here in the prediction URL. Um, after it goes through all, I mean, after I get the key, um, it goes ahead and gives me a prediction, which is the iteration of how much accuracy it is. Uh, and then after that, I take um, all of those, which which is anything over uh, 10%. Now, I know 10% sounds a little lower here, but remember, I have not done much training. I've only given in 400 items, uh, 400 images, a total of 27 items. So I've only given about 10 to 15 images per uh, item. That's why I left my probability uh, at 10%. Uh, so if anything's over 10%, it'll go ahead and take the image and then it'll compare to see which one matches with the part number. Once I get the part number, I send it to rebreakable.com, get the in information, save that to my SharePoint list. And then I also go and send the ID of that SharePoint list. And then that ID is filtered in that gallery on the Power App. Um, and so we'll do a lot of testing. And in this case, we'll actually be testing uh, the actual Lego brick. And I it, was, it was a sheer pr pleasure to do that at this time because uh, if some of you may know that it is, uh, as of today, there's 60 years of a special patent which was done for that Lego brick. Um, so it was a perfect time to go ahead and create um, this custom solution, a power app which is now able to use the custom vision which I have trained, uh, and we will actually use a Lego brick as an example over here. So this was just a good way to celebrate the 60 years uh, special patent. So now that you've got a good overview of what's going on, um, Let's go ahead and open up uh, the Power App so you can just take a quick look at it. Uh, the Power App is pretty much very similar to the previous one. I'll be using the picture all most of the time, and then the flow will kick off. Uh, now, to make this even more um, precise, uh, I'm going to actually do it directly through my phone, um, with, in which I have my, my iPhone, in which I have the app, and then through that, uh, we'll take pictures and we'll basically do this uh, real time. Uh, so you see that there's no smoke and mirrors uh, that I really am doing this, um, you know, uh, correctly. And we'll see how well the cognitive image goes ahead and picks up that inf information and sends it to us. So let's go to my uh, lonely screen over here. Uh, and let me go ahead and sync up my phone with it. There's my phone. And let me go ahead and open up my Power App. And the OCR2, that's the new app that I created. So let me open that up. And then we'll go ahead and start taking images. And I'll be placing the images over here. Um, and you'll see that uh, through the phone. So now I'm going to take a photo. Let's do the first one. Let's do the image of the brick. It just zoomed in a little bit took the image, use this photo, and let's go and scan. So what's happening in the scan right now is we are sending that image to uh, Flow. Flow is going to go ahead and take that image, send it to a uh, cognitive uh, custom image. It will go ahead and look at the image, analyze it, compare it with all the learning that is done, and it'll send me that tag. That tag will actually be the part number. I take that part number and I send it directly to uh, the readbrickable.com using the API connection, and it gathers all the information. So as you can see over here, um, just by taking the image, it gave me the exact part number that I needed. Um, and then I was able to go ahead and send that part number and gather all the information. So this is the first sign that this worked out very successfully just by taking an image. And that's because of all the training that I did um, in the uh, custom vision that I was able to get the correct uh, tag or the correct part number. But let's continue and do some more testing over here. I'm gonna do this clear off over here, click on the clear button, and add another image. Change the picture, take a photo. I'll use the photo, let's scan it. All right, so it returned the information, and again, it was really accurate. See, there's no smoke and mirrors over here. Uh, I'm not making this up. I'm not editing the video. This is actually talking to Custom Vision. Custom Vision analyzed this from the pictures that I've given, 
and I was able to return back that part number. Um, and then I send that part number to um, the rebrickable.com's API, and it sends me the correct information over here. Let's actually attempt to do one more, and we'll see how well that goes. Um, so here's actually a gear, and let me change the picture. took the picture let's scan it we'll see what happens okay so we got the information over here uh, looks like there's a little bit more text in the description so we can clean that up but the image came through really successfully so uh, this was just a really good test to see how we were able to take three separate images um, take the images, pictures of that, um, and run that really successfully through uh, the flow over here, uh, and then using the uh, custom vision on that. The things that I noticed when I was playing around with this is that there is a um, certain lag time between the uh, training that you did on custom vision um, as against the search that you tried to do, because I have gone ahead and added some new parts over there. I went ahead and did the training but they would still not show up over here. So there was a little bit of a lag time. I don't know where that happens. It could happen in the data connection. It could be actually on the custom vision, vision side or, or something else, but they just want to keep that in mind. Um, and the, the big thing is you know, the more images you train, uh, the better the option of getting a higher probability of uh, accuracy over here. Um, so on an average, I was taking about anywhere from 10 to 15 images. Um, you can, the more you can take it, the better it is. Um, right now, there is a couple of things on vision side that I want to bring to your uh, attention. Uh, if for each of your projects, um, let me go into, yeah, so you have only a total of 18, um, uh, it's actually, uh, yeah, a total of 18 projects that you can do right now. Um, and then you can only do so many predictions a day. Remember, this is in preview phase right now. Uh, in addition, when you go to each of your project and then you go to settings, uh, it gives you another limitation. So that each project, that's all you can do is all you can add is 430. I mean, you can add a total of only 1,000 images um, and you're only allowed 50 tags. Now, Legos being over 30,000 just items. That means I would need 30,000, 13, that's one three, 13,000 tags. Well, right now, that's not available over here. But if I click on this little information, it says that custom vision is still in preview. So you, so they've actually put some limits. Um, you can contact them, which is something that I've done, contacted them uh, to increase that limits a little bit. Um, so it, there is definitely room for this thing to grow, um, which means once this thing goes live and I want to do more testing or you want to actually plan on using it, uh, you can add so many more um, images per tag and that way you can actually get a little bit more accuracy on that. And then domains over here is basically just places to go ahead and put your image. Um, things that they put for um, uh, general over here is that this domain cannot be exported over here. And then domains, you basically pick and choose uh, what is, um, you know, which information you want to put. And if you don't know where it is, then go ahead and put it over there. The adult one is basically the place where you can go ahead and put in something which is a little bit more, um, which higher level of security over there. Um, uh, so you want to keep all of these in mind. If you're not really not sure where you want to put them, put them in general. Uh, but all in all, this was a very successful um, uh, testing that I did. I really like the fact that now I can just take the image of the Lego uh, directly and uh, you know, go ahead and uh, straight away post it. Um, it you know, the, the, the custom vision will go ahead and detect the image, get me the tag. The tag itself is, is actually the uh, image, uh, I mean the image's um, part number. Send that to the API and get the information. So I hope this was just a good example for you guys to start playing with it. Um, the custom vision uh, connector is already available in preview, so you can start playing with that. Uh, and then for the custom vision over here, that's also all in testing right now. Um, the URL for that is customvision.ai. Uh, so you don't have to go in Azure and, and find over there the subscription. You just go to customvision.ai and you'll find it over there. So hope this was helpful.